I recently read the book The Primary 20 Hours by author Josh Kaufman You will have heard that it takes 10 oh, 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 hours to master a skill but what if you do not want to master a skill what if you only want to be adequate to enjoy using the skill and find value out of it like playing some songs on your guitar well consistent with over 90 years of scientific research attaining tier of competency with any skill can happen much much quicker than you will think if you approach skill development in a very systematic way you'll be able to climb up the learning curve and reach some extent of noticeable proficiency in mere 20 hours author Josh Kaufman says you'd be astounded at how good you'll get at any skill in barely 20 hours however if you approach the skill development process without the right game plan you're unlikely to urge anywhere in 20 hours here may be a three-part blueprint to rapidly develop any skill and knowledge surprising competency after just 20 hours first imagine disaster attempting to develop a brand new skill is overwhelming the faster that you just can imagine a specific target performance along with yo or new skill the faster you'll reduce that feeling of overwhelm a superb thanks to imagine your target performance is to picture yourself in a very situation using that skill within the subsequent few weeks once you have got that situation in mind imagine the case being a whole disaster for example you've always wanted to speak Italian the foremost effective way to break down the task of speaking Italian into something more manageable is to picture yourself within the next few weeks visiting Italy and visiting Visiting a small town where nobody speaks English you don't have access to data so you can't use your cellular phone you're completely lost and you would like to seek out your way around town so you ask an area for directions as you are trying to clarify what you would like you utilize hand gestures and you stumble to seek out the correct words to mitigate this disaster you would first need to be ready to introduce yourself then you need to grasp the way to say the Italian words for the various places you would like to Oh go nouns like hotel restaurant or museum it might then be helpful to grasp which verbs to use with those nouns verbs prefer to head to want and to and to assist the local understand what you want you'd have to find out how to structure a matter by using interrogatives like where when and the way by imagining a situation where not having a desired skill makes that situation a disaster you'll come up with a listing of sub skills that you simply need to work on and therefore the order during which you need to work on them the second a part of the blueprint is no only only enough now that you know what to try to do you'll have to know how to try and do it at this stage within the skill development process people spend too much time studying a skill and too little time practicing a skill if you were learning a way to toss a football it's not very productive to check the physics of throwing a football for five hours before playing catch within the backyard the only purpose of studying a skill before doing it's to be k knowledgeable enough to grasp if you're doing something wrong and the way to repair it the professor of linguistics at the university of southern california stephen Krashen calls this the monitor hypothesis it states that learning before practicing is only valuable if what you're learning allows you to plan edit and proper yourself while practicing when learning to toss a football it might be helpful to spend some minutes watching a collection of highly rated youtube videos or flipping through a stack of top rated football and instructional books once you've found a consensus from three or more sources on what a correct football tossing technique should look like and want then it is time to travel outside and begin practicing the instant you understand the way to implement a sub skill and the way to self correct dropping books shut down videos and move to practice while practicing you'll begin with more inquiries to study and you'll return to resources trying to find specific answers if you would like to shorten study time Use coaches or mentors to point exactly what you're doing wrong when using programs like using Aishin, an app that provides you real-time feedback while playing guitar that helps you correct yourself while practicing to urge the foremost out of your first 20 hours. Learn enough just to correct the third part of the rapid skill development scheme is struggle and sleep. Struggle and sleep author Josh Kaufman wanted to work out if he could learn a skill in 20 hours I used to be visiting over write a skill he'd been using most of his life. So he set about learning a brand new writing method that he wanted to maneuver from layout standard typewriter keyboard to more efficient Colmac layout his research showed that ping with Colmac configuration, reduced finger movement, which improved typing accuracy and reduced its chances of getting carpal tunnel, so Josh switched and was instantly frustrated. His typing speed dropped from 6 high words per minute to 5 Josh Ed, I felt like he lost a part of his brain while writing. 
He used his delete keys so often that he thought he might wear them and desperately wanted to require off he was ready to write 40 words per minute with complete accuracy at the 20 hour mark, but he pledged a commitment of 20 hours to develop the new skill, so he continued abruptly after 14 hours, he felt that his fingers were making the words appear on the screen effortlessly, and he decided to proceed after 22 hours, he managed to type 6 Thai words per minute, now flawlessly, he checked out the old way of writing and wondered why he was so ineffective in writing for therefore long that a 20 hour commitment allowed him to beat frustration and develop a skill that helped get pleasure from it for the remainder of his life. 20 hours of coaching by dividing long training sessions into short periods separated by periods of sleep, you'll greatly improve your ability to develop the skills scientists don't know much about sleep but they know that sleep enhances and encodes what we learn during the day within the book. Josh reflects on how sleep played a job important in developing his writing skills. He says my first training session was terrible. Getting anything right makes mistakes constantly and barely skips the characters on the house row after a full night's sleep. Once I sat ahead of the PC I noticed that I used to be making fewer mistakes. Sleep enhanced what I learned the night before science reveals that developing motor skills is more practical if we practice those motor skills within 4 hours of visiting bed, and Josh also found an immediate correlation between how he trained hard and the way much he improved the subsequent day. If he spent some hours writing casually within the new composition, he didn't make any improvements within the speed and accuracy of writing. It seems, the brain doesn't only bother upgrading your abilities during sleep if you struggle during the day. Therefore the equation for rapid improvement is brief periods of struggle additionally to sleep the more periods of struggle and sleep the more you improve the faster you get the foremost enjoy the primary 20 hours. I like to recommend practicing the skill that you just want for a period 20 minutes within the morning and 20 minutes in the dead of night for a whole month. The morning will provide you with an opportunity to practice without distraction, and practice within the evening will increase your odds of enhancing this skill while you sleep if you train intensely and methodically for 40 minutes every day at the top of the month you'll accumulate 20 hours of deliberate practice and you'll be surprisingly good at whatever skill you wish was essence sage that I collected from the primary 20 hours. There are many other examples within the book of a way to quickly improve your skills. Thanks watch and that I hope you've got a fruitful day.